What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. It is PLE week, pay per view week, elimination chamber week. We're That's not these what PLE together. stands for. I didn't say what it stood for. I just said pay per view. Are you so angry? Can't you, said, the damn you said it's PLE week, pay per view week. From your life, yeah, that week. It's, I know it's the week of. You're so already, already. I said it's going to go. As five you know, seconds. I'm Rabble, here with Sig. Five, five seconds in. Five seconds in. <laughs> Fuck your and couch. Lane. <laughs> Ready to talk about Elimination Chamber with the PLE week and pay-per-view week. <laughs> Premium live pay-per-view events. <laughs> yeah, that happened. <laughs> oh, okay. call. These premium pay-per-views. All right, all right. But anyways, coming from Perth, Australia, at 4 o'clock in the morning, Central Time, which none of us are going to be watching live. No. <laughs> we'll all be waking up and watching it throughout the day, more than likely. Look, I'm a, usually a pretty committed person to watching my premium pay-per-view live events, but I'm not, I'm not watching it for a... <laughs> Look, there was I, I've, I've been seeing that all over social media too where it's like the Americans are getting upset that they have to wake up early but the rest of the world does this every, every time, time all year every time. and my own thought was yeah if it was like Wrestlemania Survivor Series Royal Rumble you know SummerSlam Big Four maybe you can entice me a little bit stronger yeah but this is a for the most part has a notorious uh, stigma of just being a one-off shoot until WrestleMania. Yeah. So. The, the meh, meh yeah. Factor. So. You can't really sell me on waking up at 4 a.m. or sorry, before 4 a.m. for the kickoff or even to get ready ready to be fully functioning to watch it. No. No. Yeah. Not happening. But I mean, it's not. It's not uncommon. I mean, even with UFC, they have multiple that are early in the morning, middle of the day. Yeah. Like that as well, so it's not a, not a new thing. Nobody gives so, a shit I mean, about UFC. And if you want to bitch about it, nobody cares what you're bitching about. I like UFC. Entitled I Americans. <laughs> <laughs> that is another episode. I think we only oh, have four, four matches. Yeah, four and then the five. Four. The, Grayson Waller effect. Big matches, baby. Four big old matches. So there's, yeah, there's four confirmed, um, but there's a lot of speculation that we'll have a fifth match. Uh, either announced today or Friday. Speculate on that some more. I speculate so hard over your face. Ooh, did you fucking tease me with a good time? I know where you live. Oh, it won't be a tease for much is, longer. This is true. You do. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was there was the Grayson Waller effect. I'm sure Lane's seen it. I'm almost positive. Roggle has not. But that uh, the judgment. Better. He's gotten better. <laughs> really? Okay. That uh, Bloodline will interrupt and attack Cody and Seth on the Grayson Waller effect. Mostly yes. the Rock and Solo. So... But the other thing I've seen is Solo versus Cody Rhodes taking place at the chamber since he's not on the card at all except as this stupid fucking talk show host with Grayson Waller. God I fucking hate him. Only because of his hometown. Yeah, that's that's why. Is it know. his hometown or is it just his home country? I don't know the home country what I meant. I don't know if he's from Perth or not. Well, let's get your fucking facts together. But I would say, I'd say I agree with that, because we, we talked about that earlier about Bloodline showing up and whoever would be, Rock or Solo or whoever. We were uh, we were on a call about 40 minutes waiting for Sig to get home from doing his husbandly duties. Yes. So we, yeah. were, we were discussing a few things while we were waiting for you as well, so yes. We didn't so, go into much uh, detail because we were going to talk about everything. So we didn't go into much uh, detail. 
But let, let's go into much details before we even go into the matches because I have an interesting theory that I was going back and forth with a couple of content creators on TikTok via chat mostly. But the we you've been seeing how last night on Monday Night Raw, it's all been stated that Jay was supposed to win the IC title from Gunther, but Jimmy yeah. interrupted it. But we're also seeing, I know he should have won. Okay, everybody fucking hates Gunther. Uh, no, I mean that was that was recently debunked by WWE creative that he wasn't supposed who? to win at all. Which one? I'm yeah, just curious he wasn't which one. supposed to actually win. I was reading it on Ringside, and then on uh, Fight News that Fight WWE News. creative debunked it that uh, Jay wasn't supposed to win. Which would still make more sense because the theory everyone had going to the debunk prior to that was he was going to win and then Jimmy and him were going to fight off for the title. Not important to the theory, but stupid if that's how they played it out. But you've been seeing a lot of supposedly The Rock it has, it has his own creative team and Triple H has his creative team, which is the you know WWE. And we could be seeing very good Ideally, very good writing with Triple H running, in theory, running his own regime right now and The Rock controlling the Bloodline storyline 100% and saying, I'm going to go and attack all of these characters, all these wrestlers, because I'm the board member. I can do what the fuck I want. If I want them to do this, I will do that. And kind of take, strip Triple H of the power and make it seem like he's in control. Because we're going for a dynamic shift, which could work if they write it correctly but i'm also sick of seeing the rock in wwe so yeah i don't no i don't see that at all i after this whole wrestlemania sense done the rock is gonna float out again he's gonna go back to his movies he's still gonna be his little board member but it's not he's not gonna be it's he's gonna be gone I yeah he's got to the end of in the next month until the UFL starts as well. Yeah, he's yep. going to have his little fun. With, Ooh, look at me. I'm going to slap the herpes off your lip. Whatever. <laughs> he's having his fun, but. I, I've i never been a big fan of him. Like, I like The Rock. I liked his old stuff. I, I like this version. Of... I like the old Hollywood Rock that came back out. Hey, the $500 vest well... shirt. I was all about that coming out. <laughs> It's not so I much saw the, that. the gimmick, though. Like, I enjoy the gimmick. Don't get me wrong. It's the fact of, again, here we go with a super part-timer. And it's all, I get it's a business. They're drawing money and they want attention all that. I get that. But from my perspective, it's, oh, here we're going. We're taking the rock again because we have nobody else to provide. We can't give anybody else a chance. Let's bring in somebody who's a guaranteed draw versus working on some issues we have. Like, oh, I don't know. Austin Theory, let's figure his whole fucking shtick out. Gunther, do just anything to dethrone him. Anything. Let let Charlotte Flair win the IC. I'd be fine. <laughs> I don't like her, but I don't like Gunther more. So let let her win. Interesting turn of events. It would. They would have a mid title finally. The so. the build up for the Rock showing up though was has always been there, and now that he's there, I don't think he'll go anywhere for what was it, maybe end of March. But obviously, Manny he'll be there, and if he's like you said, sick, if he's gonna try to run his own storyline with it, do you see them at some point bringing in anybody else to beef up the bloodline or just run with those? Uh, two, the four of them. He's a free agent now, oh, and yeah. they just wrote him off TV. Yeah, as I say, he he was already pushing for Fatu. Yeah, and then of course, if you look at his bloodline lineage, Fatu was up there, but uh, the other one wasn't. I can't think of his name now. The other cousin, who's on the indie circuits, but I can see it bringing that, Fatu uh... in. I was. Yeah. I, the name I have in mind is not him, because the name I have in mind is somebody who's actually a wrestler, and is no longer around. So I'm pretty sure he's okay. dead, actually. 
I'm like 99% sure you're dead. We'll drop the fucking yeah. name. Jimmy Snuka. Like, that's the only name that came to mind. <laughs> like, that's not him. Superfly. Sure he's, he's not even. Dead. I don't. Uh, I mean, he's, I he's close. He's he close he was, if he is. I thought he died before his trial ended or before he yeah, was going to get sent to prison. I, yeah. Fuck, let's just bring back it, fucking Umaga then. <laughs> the resurrection bloodline. <laughs> yeah, is, no. He's how far off is he in the bloodline though? Because he's not like Umaga. Any mean? No, no, not Umaga. Snuka. Snuka. Uh, I think he's actually related, he's... like legit related to the bloodline, not married in like the Rock is. I thought he was married in. Thought he was too, to be honest with you. But he yeah, died in well... 2017. I was right. He died. Okay. Knew the fucker um, died. That sounds bad. So congratulations. Way. Congratulations on being right that somebody's dead. <laughs> Weird flex, of, bro. Speaking of Snuka, <laughs> they could they could bring in Tamina to have a female in there. If you or, want to have. or Nia Jax. That's realistic. Who wants to see her in there? Okay, if we're being realistic, who's more likely to be? Tamina. Let's be realistic. Tamina. Who's who's more likely hey, to actually hey. show up? Ain't Tamina. No one than Tamina. Tamina is what once a year, if that, and she's a yeah. jobber. Nia Jax is fucking obnoxiously annoying, and she's still there. And she just wrecked like six girls last night. <laughs> it's pretty easy when they all weigh the size of her left leg. All, all weigh the size. Look, my brain went into two <laughs> different directions. Is that right? There. Is that right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> They'll meet at some point. He'll get there. <laughs> the size of her left leg weighs as much as all those girls. I mean, Raquel's got some weight on her. Fine. That was a good surprise. Her left her and right leg. It was good seeing Raquel back. I'll admit that. Yeah. So with with that, I guess we could start with the female elimination chamber if you want. Yeah. Having it having it be said now, so. Yeah. I mean, I think. should be pretty clear across the board, right? I mean, everybody should be thinking the same thing. One, they did Liv Morgan's uh, picture dirty. She looks stupid as fuck in her profile picture for the Elimination Chamber. I don't think I've seen it. Look at that. I see the one with all, with all six of them in there. Yeah, look at all six of them in there. She looks stupid. Something's wrong with her face. Either she just smoked the biggest doobie in her life, or we're so old. I am, I'm so that one? old. No. Okay, no, that's the no, one no. I'm seeing right now. No, there's. Looks, let's see. If, looks, let's see if I can find it. it was. It was used on Monday Night Raw and Friday Night okay. SmackDown, where it's just like the individual chamber pods. Oh, okay, okay. That's, uh, yeah. So like, that looks fucking stupid. I'm going to get... Here, here it is. Oh, you can't drag me page. Fuck you. I just wanted to save the image. Or I can send it. Show it. <laughs> Show it. Show me the money. I mean, I find it really hard that one. to have a, a bad picture of Liv. Oh, that, okay. I just don't she want does, that picture. She does look a little stoned in that one. But it's a little different, fine yeah. to me. <laughs> That's why I was like, perfectly they've been using me. this picture for the last, like, two weeks. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Is no one picking yeah, up on this? You did her I'm dirty. Still, still happy with it. <laughs> still happy with it. At least she looks like an actual human being in the picture you sent, Roggle. Yeah. The other, the other one literally looks like an AI-generated image of her. <laughs> I do, yeah. And it's fucking with me so much. <laughs> Every time they talk stuff, I have no idea what they're saying during so uh, commentary. I'm just like, I, I'm so drawn by this. It's fucking with me. I don't see the hate. So out of the six, we've got Becky Lynch, 
Bianca, Naomi, Liv, Tiffany, and Jane. Tiffy time. Fuck her. I like her either. So I mean, good. if I had the chance. I mean, what? <laughs> and this is a go on and face either. Sorry. Sorry, Rhea Ludwig. Or Ludwig Rhea. Kaiser. How is this? That is mind blowing. That is definitely like one of those people you see together. You go, how? Well, they, I say how, but then I look in the mirror and I'm like, why am I saying anything? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how, how am I judging anybody? Because I can. You're a celebrity. You're on TV. I have the right to judge you at this point. <laughs> I mean, that's true. You know what you got into when you signed that contract to be on public TV. I guess it's not public TV anymore. National TV. But I'm going to assume, because you said we're all in agreement across the board. Are we all in agreement that's Becky because of the story that's been laid out for the last three weeks? No. We all going with the Dark Horse, Raquel? No. No. I don't think we're on the same page then, Lane. No. Nope. Nope. Go ahead then. <laughs> Stig, no, you, you, made the, first. you made the comment if we're all on the same page. I want, well, you, I, want Liv, I want Liv to, yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to talk shit all you're I want. You're the one that's talking all this fucking, the same weighted in size, and you're the mind that's going all over the place. So, you know, just go ahead. Just let me get my drink in and we'll be good. He's counting something yeah. over there. I, I fucked up when I said the names. Brought to you by guys. <laughs> what do you? What do you mean? I didn't, what name? I, I, I didn't say Raquel. Did you say any? Any of them? You you did, but that's cool. I didn't. I don't remember you, you saying any of them. You said all six, but that's cool. I didn't say. I didn't say Raquel. You did, but that's cool. No, I, no, I we didn't. Can, we can actually said, play play this tape back later said, and actually listen. hear it. Would you shut the fuck up and listen? Becky Lynch, Bianca, Naomi, Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton, and Jay Cargill. That's not Raquel at all. You didn't you say Jay Cargill. You didn't say yes, Jay. Did. No, you didn't. Yes, I no, did. you didn't. I said no, you Jay. didn't. No. Uh, a bunch of fucking money I did because I'm reading it right here what I read. Okay, but you auto corrected yourself then before you said it. Because you must have been looking at your picture. No, that's, I was reading what it's right in front of me. But it has, so, it has Jane so, for some reason. I, know. I know you Raquel's said Raquel. He knows you said Raquel. I but Raquel. you don't know you said Raquel. <laughs> not, that, only, not only that, you didn't say last names. No, I didn't. I said Jane. I didn't say Raquel. Um, whatever, dude. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> I was trying to correct it before. Cool. Well, that worked out well for you. <laughs> you sat there for three minutes doing this. Fucking making sure. So I saw like I fucked it up somehow. Anyways, I would like Liv to win as she has beef with with uh Rhea. But I don't think she will win, unfortunately. I think they will give it to Becky. But I want Liv to win. That's my that's my go to person. So ideally Liv. Your turn. So then we're in agreement, like I said in the beginning. Before you talked a bunch of shit for no reason. You know what? Becky. You Becky. I'm going with Becky. <laughs> Could have saved like 10 minutes. Going on this rampage. Going with Becky now. That's how he's taking Becky. I'm sticking with Liv. I'm giving it to her. Bet you would like to. Hmm. I plead the fifth. <laughs> well, then speaking of Aria, jump in that one. And and we all get, we what, didn't what? get Roggle's official pick. Oh. He didn't say it. Jade but, Cargill. <laughs> no, I'm, I want I want Liv to win. I have a feeling it's gonna be Raquel. That's a weird. That's yeah. That's on the go. Yeah, but I think it, I think she's gonna have a chance. So who's that? What's that? No, go ahead. Explain. 
Because I, I, I don't see... Liv can put on a hell of a match against Rhea, but I don't I don't see it being a... I have, Raquel and Rhea are better match, I think. No. They're high. I'm not saying anything against Liv at all. The Raquel Rhea storyline, there's no storyline there. The Becky one works. I will give you that. There's a storyline there. The Liv storyline is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The old tag team, the Rhea injured her, all that. That storyline's great. Naomi makes zero sense. They're just trying to give her a push because she's back, and I get it. It's cool. Push her. Awesome. Uh, Tiffany Stratton, who gives a flying shit about <laughs> Tiffany Stratton right now. Wait, she yeah. just got she got called up. It's cool. Put her in some main events. See how she does. You know, they're just put her out there. See how she does. I get it. But no. And Bianca right now. I just I don't. Yes, Bianca and Rhea have had their run ins back and forth like they've stared each other down in the back, but it just doesn't make sense right now to me. They will. Those two will have a a face off at some point. Oh, absolutely. And it will be on I, I WrestleMania. Agree. I, don't I just don't think it will be right now. No, I think that's gonna have to be like a title versus title type setup. Yeah, yeah. What were you gonna say about Rhea? Say. Uh, I was just gonna go on to the next match. Oh, because Rhea's kind of in, you know enclosed into all this. So, but I was also they has for the moment. Who's gonna be like? Do you guys have a who's the final pin in the elimination chamber? First out, last out type thing. Ooh. Like who do you think's gonna just to make things spicy? We, we only have four fucking matches, guys. Yeah, <laughs> Raquel and Liv, ex tag team partners. I think it, uh, yeah, I can see it being those two last. Uh, no, no, mm, no, I can't. I, I, I see Becky being the last one. It, regardless, I Becky's see it last. Being live, living Becky. Yeah. I think it'll be a, an early or an easy tale, so to speak. If Becky stays all the way through and it's Becky and Liv, it could go either which way. But if I Liv think... is eliminated, Becky wins. Like, that's. Yeah, Liv is eliminated at any point. It's Becky's case. Naomi and Tiffany are going to be one of the first ones out for sure. I think, I think Tiffany. That's my guess yeah. right now. Yeah. Like Bianca, being... they're gonna she they're gonna let her put on a good run. They got to. It's Bianca Belair. You can't make her look weak. Like you can't. Yeah. She will be probably top three. See, I don't I... think honestly, dude. I don't think Ra I think Raquel is probably the third one out. So. I yeah, have... I think it's going to be like Tiffany, Naomi, Raquel, and then leave, and then Bianca, yeah, and Liv, and Becky. Becky. You know what I mean? Like Becky, you know what I mean? Like Big, yeah. Becky, Liv, or last. So you have the same Raquel lineup as just, I do. Yeah, Raquel just got back. I don't think they're going to push her that quick. And I just, I don't know, man. I don't see it. I mean, I mean, I could be way off. I don't know, but like that's just my my thought, my feeling right now. Tiffany, Naomi, Raquel, Bianca, Becky, Liv. Yeah, that's where I was going with it too. Then again, the the only like caveat, so to speak, would be if at some if Liv somehow gets eliminated, I'm telling you, Becky wins. It won't be Raquel. Oh, it, it it's between Becky and Liv. I can see why those two would be your final two, and that would also give Becky a a storyline kind of like John Cena had several years back of I need a WrestleMania match doing anything she can to get on that WrestleMania card and let her repeat that same story. But instead of challenging The Undertaker and then buying a ticket in the crowd, like Cena did, do some other gimmick. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I want Liv to win, though. But something yeah, says Liv, Becky's going to win, would be what I want. Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. The silence is deafening. Are you good? <laughs> you drop your mic. He's done with us. He's had enough. <laughs> had you wait forty five minutes, thing, bro. No, it was good. 
we'll go into the next match with uh do you do you guys think the winner challenges Rhea or uh Io? It's the fuck do you remember. mean? Never mind. I forgot it's never mind. I forgot Bailey and Eo are going. Dude, this is why like I was trying to be good to you today. I really was. Shut up. Like I was, dude. I was next I to Rhea. Next, no stop. No stop. Rhea, stop. Rhea and Ripper no. Naya. No, we're addressing the women's this. women's championship. I we are addressing this, you ignorant piece of shit. We are addressing this. I stood up for you. I told him you were getting better. And then you come out of the fucking no, pocket heard, and heard, shit heard, like heard. that. Anyways, Rhea and Rhea and Naya. In the you're, next drinking match. The, you're drinking NA. Like you have no excuse. Okay. Just that you're mentally challenged. All right. Rhea and Naya in the next match. We have. I want to attend this therapy session Nia's, right now. Let's just Nia's... let's break this down. <laughs> There's no excuse. Now we've got. Are you are you ready to move on? Or are we gonna sit here and do this? I shit? mean, I just. Are, are we? Are, are we you? Good? Can we? Can we move on? Are you? Are you ready to recover? Well, first I'm off, fine. so where everyone's clear, uh, the winner of the women's elimination chamber can only face one person. That is Rhea. Regardless of what yes. Roggle has stated, it is Hi. Rhea. This is for the chance to face off at WrestleMania 40 or, against or Nia. Rhea or Nia. Shut the fuck up, that bitch ain't winning. Or Nia. Now you can go on to the Rhea versus Nia. Do you really think Nia has a chance in this match? Oh, I got a better chance than EO Sky, you fucking idiot. EO Sky's not in this match, idiot. Well, then why the fuck are people trying to get the point? (laughs) I don't think there's. This is probably the worst match of the night. Oh, 100%. There's no way that this Look, is anywhere. It, it wouldn't matter if there was 20 it. matches on this card. The moment Nia's on it, it's not a great match. It's not a good match. I, you know what, dude? Like, here's the thing, too. I want her to prove me wrong so bad. Like, oh, I want to give her Nia Jax, dude. I want her to prove me wrong. I want her to put on a good match. Like, I, I want, want her Rhea to put on a good match. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, too. Rhea's been letting me down a lot. Like, you Rhea's know, she's been garbage lately. Like, she sure as fuck ain't riptide no fucking Nia Jax. I mean that's no, no god that's not happening. Um, but like Nia had or Rhea hasn't put on that great of a match for me in the last what like Puerto Rico eight, eight eight matches she's done. And it's Puerto Rico or Puerto Rico, I ain't even giving it to her. I'm giving it to Vega. Vega put on a good match. Vega carried for that. Rhea Ripley. For Rhea Ripley. Zelina carried that match. And that Nia, was, man, Nia, dude, I want, I want to give her a chance, man. I want Nia to do good. I really do. Like, they're they're pushing her all the goddamn time. Like, just do something with it. It's a lot of high hopes to be let down. I mean, because yeah, <laughs> you know damn well she's not gonna have a hell of a match. No. Same with Rhea. No. So, I mean, I don't think titles change hands. I don't know. Rhea's gonna okay. Right. So. Getting into the match, I mean, I personally think Rhea is going to obviously keep the title. Agree. Yep. Okay. Do you think it's a clean, a clean win? Yeah, the, she's a, a she's DQ. not going to. There's not going to be. There's not going to be. Yeah, there's not going to be any interference. I don't think there's going to be a disqualification. I think Rhea is going to win clean. There's just the, the most I'm willing no, to give. Is it'll be a close call. Nia Jax will have several close calls. That's it. Yeah. That that's the most I can give her. I'm very she, close two counts. Yeah. I, 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 there's nothing about this match that is enticing. There's nothing about this match that screams it should be amazing. Four in the morning. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> there's nothing on this fucking car that says get up at four o'clock in the morning. No, and like, oh, uh, neither one of them have put on a good show. Most of, I think I'm with Lane. I can't say Rhea put on a good match against Vega when Vega, for once, looked amazing down uh, Puerto Rico, and she's just kind of been shit since, even before then, technically. But Mad Jax is also, you know, 
she should be good. She should be better than what she is. She has the right uh, writers that could make her a dominant force rather than I'm going to sit on you from the mid rope. Cool. Yeah. No, I mean. Cool. And they can grab the rope to, like, to kick out. She's they can just grab the ropes. Yeah, she's 100% a powerhouse. I mean, they could do good things with her, but. Book her as a powerhouse. Yeah. Book her as a 100% knockoff Brock Lesnar powerhouse type thing. Oh, man. Another thing, too, man, is just like, can't stand her on the mic. Yeah, she needs a manager. That's why, like, her being with the bloodline would probably be best for her. That's where she doesn't have to talk. Her voice does not fit her body either. Like, I can't stand hearing her talk. True. Yeah, the, the interview that they had between those two was definitely it was, it was more awkward than entertaining at, at best. I'm going to be honest, I scrubbed through a lot of it because it was hard to watch. Yeah. I was like, oh, thank God for Hulu. <laughs> I'll yeah, just I catch the that. synopsis at the end of it. Not even worth watching. So I, and we're on agreement that Rhea wins this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Rhea also has all the storylines, too. Rhea has a storyline with Becky. Rhea yeah. has a storyline with Bianca, with Liv. Not with Tiffany, not with Naomi. Kind of, sort of, with Raquel, but not really. They just so. had a stare down at one point. That was really it. That I can, that I can remember. Is, oh, that all, is, that, is that all that Rhea, takes? Rhea hurt her knee. I remember that one time, remember, kicked her in the knee in the back, and cost yeah. them the titles yeah the tag titles yeah yeah so i don't know that one off Ugh. hold the torch yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah not just yeah not a good not a great start <laughs> to this card at no. all no uh well, let's just move into there's really no way to move into either one of them Undisputed Tag Championship, Judgment Day versus British Bronx, uh, Strong Style. So Damian Priest and Finn Balor versus Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. Just another exhilarating match that I can't wait for. I think Tyler Bate's pretty damn athletic and his abilities are pretty damn cool. But Tyler, Bate, Tyler Bate's fun to watch. I don't like Pete Dunne. Butch, whatever I'll call him. I don't... Pete Dunne. That's his name now. It's Pete Dunne. It just bothers me. His character bothers me. I don't know. I don't think he's entertaining to watch. No. These two he were was. good to watch in NXT. So I have a little bit of hope that they could be entertaining to watch. But again, I'm also still not sold on Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Just... I'm not sold on Finn and Damian, but I don't think these are the two to also take the belt. No, I would I much really. rather I would much rather the Creed brothers face them again, and the Creed because I know they that live have. event, the they Raw that Roggle and I went to, mm. dude, the Creed brothers put on a hell of a show, and they should have won that damn thing, and that, they should have just gave them the belts that day, man. Like that was such a good match. The Creed brothers put on a great show. It was great. Were were they not even were they not even in, in contendence for the tag titles this go around when they did like the, the, the tournament? I think DIY beat them. If okay. I remember correctly, I think DIY beat them. I don't remember much of the the tournaments. The only thing I remember DIY and Pete Dunne, oh. Tyler Bates. Or my bad, my bad. DX beat them. <laughs> I love our truth, dude. Our our truth for president, bro. But I, I have, he said, I have he said, now I know how genuine felt when he wrote pony. <laughs> I, I love, I love truth, man. I absolutely love him. Oh my god, he's uh, he's golden. He's, He's absolutely the best thing on WWE right now. Man was in a blue poncho. Just <laughs> that was the greatest segment on there for sure. 
here's the thing. I could. I, I'm in agreement. I think Judgment Day wins. Yeah. There's no real think. reason to strip him of the title other than to not let Damien have a title to go into WrestleMania, thus quote forcing his hand, so to speak, to use his briefcase against. Sorry, suitcase against um, Seth slash Drew. K, uh, Drew. So. Yeah. Or whoever wins the men's chamber match. But that's the only that's the only reason why I could see them booking Judgment Day losing the title and letting Priest cash in at WrestleMania, but they don't need to lose the title either to do that. Yeah. They could lose it another time. They don't have to lose it to those two. Creed Brothers is a good Really good option. Oh, it's such a good match, man. It really was. Who do you have? You're the only one that hasn't spoken on this. I judge the day, was it? Yeah. We need to be just, fucking original yeah. there, God. <laughs> it's going to be another I feel like I mean, this is a mediocre a... match. And it's probably not a good card. Short match. It's just such a, like, hand me. PLE, you know, just like here you go. You all know who's gonna win. Here it is, you know. Just uh, you know, honestly, the only one in my opinion that's up in the air is the women's elimination chamber, and it could just be between two people, in my opinion. Like yeah. I feel like I already know who's gonna win the women's championship, the tag match, and I feel like we already know who's gonna win the men's. Logan Paul. I, absolutely, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> just, uh, just... Yeah, I'm with, I'm in agreement with you on that. Like, even looking at this match before we finish with that monstrosity is, I honestly at this point the most exciting, so to speak, has the biggest opportunity to be on the fucking Grayson Waller effect if the bloodline yeah. shows up. Yeah. And I'm not saying, nope, I am. That's fucking stupid as shit to let your talk show be the highlight to be the top spot in the moment where everyone's like oh my god the rock came out and did xyz to cody or blah 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 to seth whatever they feuded cool that should not be the moment of the night no not at all that should not no, it should be. be between one of these elimination chambers and there's like going back to the women's when we're talking like high action there's really live Guess technically Tiffany and Naomi. Those are gonna be your high flyers, so to speak, in and the women's. And the men's, we have Logan Paul. You needed Montez Ford back again. Fuck like, you, Roggle. He killed it in last year's he did. I, I agree. He just so fucking spastic in it. Dude, it was agree. entertaining to watch. He was just he was, so damn spastic. He was the best thing in that match, dude. He's honestly the only thing I remember from that match. So, yes. <laughs> he was just, he was cracked up, coked up, whatever. He was on something that night. It was awesome. It was awesome. I'll tell you something, brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I knew, yeah. I knew that's what he was doing. God. It all connects the dots now. Dude, Men's like elimination. <laughs> Spider monkey on the top of the cage. It's going crazy, dude. It was insane. I loved every minute of it. Yeah. I mean, they don't have anybody in the same thing. All right. Men's fire. elimination. All right. Everybody on, on three, two, one. LA Knight. Get fucked. <laughs> Drew. Drew McIntyre. Okay. All seriousness. Drew McIntyre. I think this is where the LA Knight and Logan Paul feud starts for Knight to take Paul's title. Bingo. Anybody then, can take the title. Just if, again, the US title is such a joke still, though. It's I don't like the IC title because of Gunther. Fucking anybody. Anybody. Let Bianca take it from Logan Paul. Actually, I would pay very close attention to that match. And it would work. They did, they did have a little a little run in in the back, you know, when she was what talking happened? to talking to old Nick Aldis there, and 
Yeah, see, story, story there. Just go out that. Now LA Knight's gonna get it. Yep. But yeah, Drew, Drew McIntyre is the only one that makes like Any logical sense. sense here. I, don't, I could maybe, see why. Maybe Randy. Maybe Randy. That's purely the for the other. numbers. Purely for yep. the numbers. That's it. Which again, they Bobby they Lashley, could, no, they still could do, but yeah. Kevin Owens, nope. But Logan no, Paul, Paul, absolutely not. LA Knight, mm, no. I'd be, I'd be excited as hell if LA Knight won. It's not gonna happen, but I would like to see LA Knight and Rollins. But it's gonna end up being Drew. So who? Same with the women's order of elimination or in top two. Mm. Not this you, Lane. Like no, not you. Not you. You oh. wait. Sit back. Roggle. Order of elimination. So that means like who goes out first, who goes out second, who off. goes out third. I, well, you okay, seemed questionable. Just saying it out loud. Holy shit. Um, first one. Yeah. This way I said it out loud. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I go with probably Kevin Owens, the first one out. Followed by, I think followed by Knight, then Lashley, then Paul, Green Orton, and Drew. Yeah. So I'm thinking. Okay. I think it's Randy and Randy and Drew are last two. I think. I agree with that, but yeah. uh, I think I think Lashley will be out first. I just feel like that's the run Lashley's been getting lately. I think uh, he'll be out first, and then Kevin Owens, and then L.A. Knight, and Logan Paul's going to be the one that gets L.A. Knight out, and then L and then Paul's gone, and then it's going to be Drew and. Orton. It's, it's, it's got to be Logan Paul that gets LA Knight out. It's got to start that feud. See, Do you think he's grasped couples again? No. That's See, I, I think it's the exact Logan opposite. Paul. I think it's going to be LA that pins Logan and him going on a rant about I pinned you, I beat you, I can pro I've proven I can do it. You have never pinned me. And let him go with that stance. Yeah, like if, a, Logan, uh, if Logan wins... LA has no no reason to fight against the other than to say, well, you got lucky, you used a brass nuts. Like, if LA Knight pins Logan, he has bragging rights, so to speak. Mm. But I also don't agree with your guys' either. Like, I have, I have Logan Paul going out, and then Bobby, then KO, and then LA, and then Randy, with Drew being the winner. Because I think everyone's just gonna kind of be like pissed off at Logan. Nah. So. Watch him be the first one out. <laughs> watch all of us be wrong and watch Randy be the first one out. Followed by Drew. Watch all of us be wrong and Drew's the first one out. We're like, what the fuck? Bobby nicely wins. I'm so fucking glad I didn't wake up at four o'clock in the morning for this shit. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think they keep Logan in there a little longer. <sighs> I mean, four matches. It's what like a three, push, three, four hour show. They like to push Logan for some reason. It depends on how high fly or whatever crazy shit he tries to do early on. As soon as he gets out, That'll do we know? Last. Do we know who number one, number two entries are? By the way, I don't think they've said it for either one. Okay. That's what I thought, but I haven't seen anything. Who's your guys' bet on women's and men? Who's first and second? In other words, who's not in the cage? I think it's going to be Bianca and Becky. That would make sense. Yep. And start then out. I'm gonna, mm. Yeah, start out. And then I'm going to say... <laughs> I 
And I'm going to say... Lashley and Orton. You think they're going to make Orton run the gauntlet on this one? I think so. I mean, basically, these are going to have to be like hour and a half long matches between these two each. No, we don't know that. We don't know how long that Grayson Waller effect is going to be. We don't know how long that Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax is going to be either. They could punish us. They could punish us for a whole fucking hour. That's true. This is also why. Going for an hour. (laughs) I. You're going to see my mouse on the timeline. Just go. All right, there we go. Cool. Rhea won. Awesome. So glad I skipped most of that. I think I. I have I, I'm in agreement with you on women's Becky and Bianca and let them run. Uh, part of me wants to just go with Logan and LA so where they actually have a time to fight and that would be good too, yeah. And also start the feud a little bit more so where we get a better idea of how it's gonna play out. So. That leaves only Roggle. He's thinking good... which one of our answers he wants to steal. <laughs> no, I think it'd be uh, Becky and Liv to start out. I'd steal his men's answer. His is way better than mine. Don't take Liv mine. And Be- Liv and Becky to start out. Make them both run the gauntlet. Be the final two. Yeah. yeah. That'd be that. Um, men's? Yeah, that would... That's how the process of elimination not, works. And I'll use this fleet smart ass tonight with everything I say. Uh, probably LA Knight and Kevin Owens. Really? Mm-hmm. It would be kind of funny if they did Owens and Paul again, just to let those two yeah. go at it again for what is it? Three minutes, five minutes, what is it? How long is it? I think it's three. three. I think three. it's three. Is it five? I think it's three, isn't it? It's funny in the breakdown, it doesn't actually tell you on the match card. It just says <laughs> the storyline. You're fucking helpful. I think it's three. I'm not willing to dive into it. Let those two just go at it again for a while. I could I could see KO and Logan Paul or LA Knight and Logan Paul. I'm gonna change mine to KO and Logan Paul. Alright. I'm changing it. I will say I think. I said what I said. Regardless of who goes out with Paul, the other ones are going to come out next or be the first release. So it's LA Knight, KO, and Logan Paul in the ring. Yeah. Just beat the ever loving shit out of him. I could see that. I would love that. I would not scrub through that at all. I'd watch that. Just not live at 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to watch the back of my eyelids at 4 a.m. Mm, yes. Or be woken up by my four-year-old telling me he had a bad dream and he just needs to lay in bed with me. Or come in your bedroom to ask you to put him back to bed. That's my daughter. Okay. She comes in. I had a bad dream. Okay. What do you want me to do? <sighs> I want to go back to bed. Why'd you leave? Why'd you leave your room? I had to let you know, bro. Pretty much. I had to let Pretty you know. Much. I was scared. I needed you. Do you think there'll be any matches added? The only one I can see is uh, Solo and Cody. Oh. That's the only one that would make any type of sense or yeah, any type of logical sense is to have a bloodline versus Cody or bloodline and versus Cody and Seth, but I don't see yeah. Seth getting involved since he's already, quote, injured. Why risk injuring him anymore before WrestleMania? Yeah, because Jay and Jimmy won't be until WrestleMania, most likely. 
They're I gonna mean, build they... on that. They're gonna build on that story some more now after the whole interrupting his IC title I match. Yeah. I mean, if if Jimmy comes out, Jay will come out just to kick the shit out of Jimmy. But yeah. you're not gonna see them. I see them kind of taking it to the back, and you know, off scene now type thing, right, and leave right. it to Solo versus Cody after Solo spiked him against Drew's match. Nah, Drew's a fucking hypocrite, but whatever. Hey, man. Neither here nor there. That's DM Hunk you're talking about, bro. <laughs> Get this together. <laughs> I want somebody. Hey, I want one of the commentaries to call him that on Saturday. Oh, it'll, it'll be Pat. Yeah, I can see that. Definitely Pat McAfee will be the first one to say it. But let me. <laughs> guess like we always do. Let's wrap this card up. Who's your match of the night? Moment of the night. Oh, geez. I'm, I'm going to have to change it to moment of the night because. Can I just throw yeah. a dart at the wall and see what sticks to it? Jesus. Yeah, but you may hit some of your uh, Alexa Bliss merch. Yeah, that's true. I moved a lot of it over here. Moment of the night is when R-Truth comes out during the tag team title match to try and free Nick Mysterio. He's in search for Nick Mysterio. This is true. He, they don't even let him have a Facebook. <laughs> God, I love that whole story, man. That is so great. I think we already talked about it. I mean, it's going to be something with the Grayson Waller effect. What think, card or what match are you hoping to be the best in actual match? Yeah, not because I, th- I think I think we're all kind of great. So it's gonna be the the women's the talk show. But yeah, if not the talk show, it'll be the women's. I think it's the only one in my opinion that I have hopes of actually watching to see something. I don't know because I think the men's is already. I I know what's gonna happen. I feel like yeah. you know what I mean. Okay, it's all predetermined, but like. <laughs> But in my mind, where like I feel like I'm on the same wavelength as them, like I know yeah. what's gonna happen. Women's is the only one where I'm not feeling that way. I mean, yeah, it, I don't see them. Yeah, I, unfortunately, with you on that, the, the women's is the only one that makes sense to be kind of the dark horse and all this because it could be really good or like the other three matches, dog shit. Yeah. So, um. I mean, the dark horse really in it is Raquel, I guess. But it just doesn't make sense for anyone really other than Liv and Becky to go against Rhea at WrestleMania. I think those two just draw the most, in my opinion. I think Bianca would be a good draw, too, but I think the storyline, those two draw the most. Yeah. How about the other one? Why are you always reading shit? Just be in the moment. Be in the podcast. I'm looking at the card. That's all I'm looking at. I'm not reading anything. Four matches? You couldn't remember them? I'm just looking at it. No, I think the women's is probably going to be the match of that for me as well. You guys are over on this monitor. <laughs> My camera's over here. <laughs> Wait. Look at the camera. Look over there. See who's looking. I know I got my new my TV uh-huh. over here now that you guys are on and then my camera's <laughs> over here. So I had to do the the reacts. God. I guess. I don't know. We could all just be hopefully just be terribly wrong and this is just an amazing fucking card. And be the fucking banger of the year. Be, there's no way in hell. If we no remove Nia Jax. We remove Nia Jax. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you see any um, new arrivals or returning no. superstars mm. before R- WrestleMania? The next uh, podcast, wrestling podcast, will, as it stands right now, will not be on two guys one game pad. It'll be on the three of ours wrestling podcast. Which could not be LSD because of drug references. 
<laughs> heavy drug references. I mean, if you put periods in between it, man, they were really keen on that. Man. Can't do DSL because uh, that was copyrighted and trademarked. Yeah. DSL, that could, uh, you don't want that either. <laughs> you don't want that one. Sometimes you'll have choice. Sometimes you'll have yeah, choice. well, that yeah. stands for some stuff we don't want to be associated with. Okay, there's also that side of it too. Yes. Um, I don't see any returns, man. Not for Perth, Australia. I just don't. I just don't see this being the one where they're like, oh, look who's back. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm trying to 4 think. 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who they would or who they could. And there's. How long is Charlotte out? Is she still, she's still in the wild, right? After her. Yeah, yes. I think she's out. still out. Yeah, that's the only one I could think of. Yeah, Maybe she's still back, out. She's still out then. I don't think Bliss is coming back for this one. Tell you what, that happened though. You'd be, be so pissed. Court. You'd I'd be, be so pissed that you missed it. Yeah, I'd be so mad if you get up at 4am for that. That would be the one thing that would piss me off that I wasn't up at 4am for. You wake up and you're like, oh, let me check my phone. I would. I'd Mother I'm, I'm, fucker. I'm not, I'm not going to check my phone. I'm going to get up and try to watch it right away without getting spoilers. You know what I mean? Like, oh, but so yeah, dude, I'm really be, mad in the moment then. I would be. I would be furious in the moment that I didn't see that live. What about Seamus? No, I don't. I don't feel like he. I don't see him coming back for any reason. Braun Strowman, or is he still out medically? I haven't heard anything about him lately. I don't know if he's heard or not. I just see him on social media talking about how he's still recovering. But I don't like, know. At what, how, at what like, point would these guys? Well, at what point would there be really a return? I mean, they're locked in a chamber. It'd have yeah. to be like last year when they opened the chamber and Logan Paul ran in and curb uh, stomped it, Seth. Yeah. It could also be like when uh, several years ago when Edge jumped, I forget whoever it was, and just beat the shot of him and then took his spot in the chamber match and he got entered in. So, I mean, there's ways to do it, but it, none that, again, make sense sense yeah i don't yeah and that's kind of where like if it happens it's going to happen towards like the grace of waller effect or the title match the tag title yeah. match sorry it's or i guess women's too like those are your three opportunities and other than that two getting brought into it and being made part of the bloodline tag titles i don't even see that happening to be honest with it no earth no, I see that as a, if it happens, it'll be like a WrestleMania moment. Uh, yes. Yeah, I don't have anybody. But no. I was trying to go, I was like, oh, maybe you do. You being Wayne, not. Gold Dust comes back and helps Cody Rhodes. The Rhodes family. I mean. Versus the bloodline. I mean, Khan is Tony Khan is okay with Dustin helping out there his brother. Is. There it is. I guess that would. Yeah, I guess that would work. But he wouldn't be a return. He'd be a one-off shot type thing. Oh yeah, I was kidding. That's no, not you happening. Were. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. Serious. Can't take it back now. So. Yeah, not a great looking match card though. So it is what it is type thing. Hopefully we get more in-depth look at WrestleMania after this and see how yes. it's actually shaping up because right now we just have two guaranteed matches. EO versus Bailey and uh, Cody versus Roman. And that's not even fully solidified with all this shit going on. No. So, month and a half they have left. Mm -hmm. month and two we got weeks two left. nights to fill, so we got some matches got to be filled. A lot of, I mean, uh, if they just do another four card match or four card match card, you know, yeah, it's just four matches, whatever. Shit, I'm trying to say. What is wrong with you? Dude, not computing. I noticed. Not computing. Four matches coffee. on a card. It's not even coffee. Right. 
It's it's a hard copy. I found it for a dollar at the liquor store. I see why. Well, could be this shit over here, which is just gotcha. <laughs> but is it good? I mean, I, I I mixed it with some squirt. It was all right. I'm so glad I'm not the only one that had <laughs> squirt the house. It's gone. I mean, if that. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, there's our prediction. Not great, honestly, for this card. So, is what it is. And it hopefully, a little bit of a, a wonky podcast, a little bit of a wonky show. A lot of insults. Like we were, we were all a little off a little bit here. Yeah, I'm gonna blame, blame the the lazy boy. I kind of cheated over here. <laughs> You're just like, chair. oh fuck! Yeah, I mean, oh, I I just shit. shit. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you got your hard liquor coffee. It's throwing you off. I don't think it's hard liquor. Uh, What's what? what, rog, what roggles, roggle. I said you bought it at the liquor store. I know, but I, I don't know what like actual liquors inside of it. So you just be buying random shit and drinking it without reading it. So you just went to the liquor store and bought a cold brew and walked out. No, I I bought more, but I saw this. And one of the guys there that I've known for over a decade is like, oh, yeah, if you like if you like coffee liqueur, that's a really good one. I was like, I don't mind it. Let's oh, try it. Liquor. No, it says it says coffee mixed with uh, creamy liqueur. But it doesn't tell you what, like, yeah, creamy, liqueur. creamy liqueur for you. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, anywhere, satisfy it every time. Smooth and creamy yeah. down the throat. That's mine too. Yeah, okay. Called Any, Rebel anytime, Coffee. Anywhere. Creamy liqueur. For your night out. You down the throat. <laughs> For your night in. Race some Rebel tonight. Should probably read this a little bit closer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm the one that does all the little random shopping when I'm at the liquor store anywhere. It's like, oh, that looks good. Try it. Ugh. Fuck. Fair Nasty. enough. It's bad. I yeah. bought some nasty shit at the liquor store too, though. Trying different things. Yeah, it's. Ivy used to do those like mix and match six packs of different yep. beers. Yeah, oh, yeah. That has not always worked out for me. <laughs> I I will do that uh, every now and then at Ivy. I'll go and get a mix and match, and I'll be like, "Oh, this one's not bad. The rest of these are terrible. Yeah, Should have never bought not them." Always been a pleasant surprise. But we. Ours now has like hard the hard monsters and um I got a question. How'd that hard mountain that? nutria? Wasn't bad. Wasn't it bad. tastes like it tastes that. like sugar free Mountain Dew. So if you like okay. sugar free Mountain Dew, that's what it tastes like. I don't like sugar free anything. Me neither, but that's what it tastes like. I'm fucking three hundred and forty pounds. I don't like sugar free shit. Well, you eat uh bag of sugar-free gummy bears and i bet you won't be that weight for long you may not have a toilet either but <laughs> he already already has problems with that yeah ah. I mean. so then you'll be extra cleaned out shit from karen will be, be out you should have stood behind me at the royal rumble no i'm You're good sitting in front of me <laughs> no, there's one i'm guessing that body that creeps out i'm good when i i heard Something right. smell? What's yeah. happening yeah. over there? I will Everyone be. Yeah, I'll admit it. I'll, I'll admit it. It's death. Yeah. It is, it yeah. is what it is. So if you want to watch this episode, uh, or yeah, if you want to watch this premiere live event, 5 p.m. Easter Sand Time on Peacock. Yeah, have fun with it. It's butt fuck early. None of us are gonna be awake for it. So. Yep. You said yeah. p.m., but that's cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. AM. Yeah. Hang out with Rago too much. AM. If you would like to watch this premium pay per view live event at 4 a.m. Central, you feel free to do that. There we go. Listen to him, not, not us. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It'll be just you. It won't be me. That's fucking for sure. I'm sure there's some hardcore fans out there that are like, this PLE is going to be awesome. And they're like pumped about it. 
Yeah, no, I've already, no. I've already seen several TikToks about it. Uh, can't wait till Saturday. I'm gonna, this is gonna be such a good one. I was like, you are living in La La Land because nothing about this screams must watch. Like this could even be a paper, uh, premiere live event. I skip and just be like I did not miss anything. I predict the results or I see the results. I'm good. Done. Could have awesome. been a, a Monday Night Raw. Yes. This could have been an NXT show. Yeah. True. So, without further ado, here's Rago for I sign off. Do your stuff. Here, check out Two Guys One Gamepad for all the merch. Check us out Thursday nights. We play Warzone or whatever random game we probably will talk about and not play. But uh, till then, bye, bitch.